verse. Next verse. But unto them which are called, which is we in Christ, both Jews and Greek, Christ is what? The power of God and what? And the wisdom, that means the totality of Christianity is what we have. Where it requires a sign, we have a sign. Where it requires wisdom, we have wisdom. Do you understand? That means everything it takes for you to not be stranded outside is here. Do you understand? Everything it takes for you to stand in, let me assume you become the manager or the, um, um, the chairman, board of trustees, board of directors, Sterling Bank. And then you are sitting down there with 1,000 directors. And there is a situation in the stock market. And everybody's wisdom has finished. Christ is the wisdom of God to you. And should in case as you are coming back from that meeting, coming to the house, you and Efe just stroll inside and then you see somebody shivering on the chair. You, Christ is the power of God. So a man, they that are called, we are fully loaded. We cannot be stranded. Now, continue reading, right? I'll hit my point. Once I do that, I'm gone. Next verse. But just in case you don't know, right? Um, let me announce something, right? It was in my heart. I said I was going to do that. But there's something I know about myself. If I cannot prove it, because I've tried to prove it, but I cannot prove it. The testimonies around me have proven it a hundred and ten times is that God have anointed me with lifting power. Do you understand? And one of the ways it manifests is in favors. That means that you've listened to me as though nothing happened, but when you go back tomorrow, you begin to experience strange dimension of favors. I know you'll be wondering how we got here, amen, because if I tell you my age, you'll be shocked the way I'll be shocked, amen. But, <laughs> hallelujah. But, you see, you, you'll be surprised the kind of testimonies. Some of the testimonies, I hear them, and I'll be like, it must come. Afa, <laughs> it's just that that guy, you know, mix something somewhere, you know. But it's, that's why it's an anointing. And then that's where I'm going to. I want to show us something very simple, though. But you see that once that thing fills the void, all the speaking in tongues will make sense. Have you seen Christians that the speaking in tongues no longer make sense to them? Because their life doesn't even look like the world. And when they are coming to preach to you, you are dodging. You are a Christian, no? Your conscience is judging you, but you are dodging. Because you don't like the way the shoe is like this. Tell me through, don't you like man of God? See now. See. The mystery go enter. You know, check, check if he now. I seen the check person. Check him. <laughs> you know, when they start sharing mysteries, it will enter, right? Say, because the foolishness of God is wiser than men. So why trust in the wisdom of men? Glory to God. Why? You see, I, I, I talk with a lot of people, right? And then I observe that before they talk to me, they have their plan. So why run to God last? The foolishness of God, that means when God decides to be foolish, his foolishness is even still wiser than your wisest wisdom. And the weakness of God is stronger than men. So why trust in man? <laughs> Glory to God, you go trust man. <laughs> oh, <till law. laughs> oh, till law. Why trust man? Have you not heard that if you put your arm, your, your feet, your, 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 your trust in the arm of flesh, it will fail you. Siva, I ran projects, but honestly, by God, the moment I just make up my mind that so this person, I know this person, this person will give me 10k, this one 20k, this one 30k, this one. 30K. The rest of, from that date after the project, something will happen. They will not pick my call. So I'll be forced to go back to the way I know how to do it. <laughs> why trust man? Some of you, the reason why your faith is still dancing on one leg is because you have three people's number you can call if something goes wrong. Well done. Why trust man? You know, that's not my message. That was just a passing by, right? But why trust man? I think that's a message for somebody. Hmm? Man have disappointed you so much you couldn't even pray any longer. But the weakness of God 
is stronger. Now, you see, the Bible didn't say man. It's stronger than men. Gather them. <laughs> Next verse. For ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. Next verse. I don't have much time. But God has chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. And God has chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things that are what? Mighty. Next verse. Amen. Now, make sure you're following the verses, right? Because what I'm even about to talk about is in the next chapter. And base things of the world and the things which are despised had God chosen, yea, the things which are not to bring to naught the things that are. Glory to God. Next verse. That no flesh should glory in his presence. Uh-huh. Continue, sharp, sharp. But of him are ye in Christ Jesus, who of God is made unto us wisdom and righteousness, sanctification and redemption. Uh-huh. That according as it is written, he that glorieth, let him glory in the Lord. Hallelujah. I don't even know if I should say amen or hallelujah. Next verse. <laughs> hallelujah. Next verse. Next chapter. And I, remember it's a continuation, right? He just finished talking about the wisdom and the power of God. Good. And I, brethren, when I came, I came not with excellencies of speech or of wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of God. You see, this simple chapter was a deliverance to me many years ago. I think that was like six, seven years ago. Because I felt like I want to be listening to in this life. So, if I'm arranging message, I'm also arranging the tune of the message. Do you understand? I they tell you my own life story. No be joke. So that they no go rain at me when I talk. They go no say I get anointed. You, I don't know if you get the point now. <laughs> and there are times after you preach, you now go back and read and say, the thing no enter. You know, why do people just they look me like that? Like <laughs> until I realize that. Ah, so which tune are the boy they use? Talk to three kilometer. Baba just said that. Ah, something no they correct. And then I encountered this scripture and I knew that it was not in tune. It is not in sound. It is not in mannerism. It is in utterance. God, 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 spirit fraternizing with what you are saying. Glory to God. Next verse, you see something beautiful. For I determine not to know anything among you, save Jesus Christ and him alone crucified. Eh -eh. Eh. And I was with you in weakness, in fear, and in much trembling. Uh huh. And my speech and preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom. We just finished talking about man's wisdom, right? And we said the wisest of man's wisdom is not even as strong as the weakest of God's weakness. But in demonstration of what? Spirit and of what? Power. In demonstration of what? Spirit and of power. Next verse. So you see power here, right? What we have in Christ. That your faith should not stand in what? So that means what you hear determines what your faith stands on. Hallelujah now. That means there are people that when they think of how to pay house rent, they have wisdom of men. Call her 50K. Auntie John, 10K. Okay, now brother, John is supposed to be bad. <laughs> you know, that's the wisdom of men. The Bible says the reason why we came to you with power, right, is so that your faith will not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the what? The power of God. Next verse. How be it we speak what? So that means that this wisdom of God that we are talking about, you can have access to it. You can speak it. Amen. See, I can speak it. We speak wisdom among them that are perfect, yet not the wisdom of this world, nor of the princes of the world that come to naught. 
Next verse. But we speak the wisdom of God in a word, in a mystery. So how is it that me and you can speak the wisdom of God? English. Huh? In a language called what? Mystery. Everybody say mystery. mystery. That means we've underlined it. Because if the Bible says we can speak the wisdom of God, and it now says we can speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, then we must know what mystery is. Because some people, have you seen people that preach and tell you that you know go understand? Like I'm preaching, I'm trying to make you understand scripture, and I'm still telling you that you will not understand. Why are you here? <laughs> is it not to understand? <laughs> glory to God. You know, some people think that God is God, God doesn't take glory in being mystified. He wants to be revealed to you. Next, okay. It says, for we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom. Now, th- we are still talking about the same wisdom, oh, which God ordained when? Before the world, unto our world. He will never share glory with anybody. Now, the Bible is saying that even you, you have a glory that is wisdom locked. Hallelujah now. We are not talking about spiritual glory. Thank God for spiritual glory. Yes, included. Right? But it says that you have glory that was ordained before the world, before God, before you came here. But this glory is wisdom locked and this wisdom could be spoken in a what? In a mystery. Now let's see further. When you are teaching, you say now. Then you put these dots. What does it mean? Anything you're writing is explaining what a noun is. Huh? So now we are reading scripture. Then he gets, go back. Go back. Then he gets to glory and he put these dots. What does it mean? Anything we are reading is explaining. Are you with me now? Next verse. Which none of the princes of this world knew. <laughs> for had they known it they wouldn't have crucified the lord that means that right when the kingdom of darkness was crucifying or were plotting and enhancing the plan to crucify jesus what they did not see was your glory that means the moment jesus died you became too qualified for this glory not just qualified, you became unstoppable. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. For had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. Next verse. But, still describing this glory, as it is written, eyes have not seen. Ears, okay, no ears heard, neither had entered the heart of men the things we are still talking about the wisdom of god that means the wisdom of god can be materialized the things which god has prepared for them that loved him then the next verse says but god has revealed them to us by his spirit but Still talking about the glory, he says, eyes have not seen, talks about visions. Ears have not heard, talks about revelations, informations. Neither has it entered the heart of men, talks about ideas. But that's not where I want us to drop. Give me 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verses 1. Hallelujah. 1 Corinthians 14, 1. <coughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 1 Corinthians 14, 1. Thank you, Lord. Follow after charity. So if your name is charity, we have the right to follow you. And desire spiritual gifts, but rather that ye may prophesy. Can we read the verse 2 together? One, two, go. Oh, dear Lord. I want us to read it together. Verse 2. Media. All right. One, two, go. For he that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not unto men, but unto for no man. How be it in the spirit? Thank you, sir. Oh, God. 
I know who my OPP in off head for transfer you money, amen. <laughs> How be it? He speaketh what? What are mysteries? Wisdom. What are mysteries? Eyes have not seen. What are mysteries? Ears have not heard. What are mysteries? It has not entered. That means you can speak into your heart things that have not entered the heart of men. Glory to God. This is the technology. This is the technology by which people bring out songs. But you see, we have left this infrastructure to pulpit users only. You don't know that in your office you can speak out these mysteries. You can invent things that have not entered the heart of men. Do you know that, right? You can bring that simple drug that will be the single cure to HIV. As the power of God is healing HIV in church, the wisdom of God is healing HIV in this pharmacy. And that will make you a multi-billionaire. We are talking about the power and, the, you know, because most people, when we pray in tongues, we expect that when we go back, we are full of what? Power. But we have lost consciousness that you can also be full of wisdom. And in the wisdom, we are not talking about, you know, this conny, 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 eh, when, when everybody is talking, say, you eyes. Eh, 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 eh. That's not what we're talking about. We are talking about looking at something that has no value. But you see with the eyes of the spirit and you see value in it. You see this store. I'm sure if it was given to another pastor, they might not bring this thing out. Somebody had to with the wisdom of God. That is how I know that you are going back to your shop tomorrow and with the wisdom of God, you begin to change things. Ah, I thought you were going to believe it. I said, you will go back to an office and with the wisdom of God, you, you begin to see things that eyes have not seen. Do you know why a lot of people are poor? They are faithfully obeying all the principles of poverty. Am I lying? Huh? They are faithfully obeying all the principles of of poverty one secondly there are people that have read all the books think and grow rich all the books on prosperity but there is no empowerment because when a grace comes it comes first in form of impactation and then in form of empowerment are you with me now so for example I'm giving you information. Maybe you come now and you want the grace of God upon a man of God, right? Then the man of God begins to teach you, right? Teach you information. But when he teaches you without the spiritual enablement, you will go back and obey those principles and become frustrated than you came. So there is a wisdom to getting rich and there is also the power to get wealth. All is already in you when you speak it and remember the bible says that when we speak it you speak it so when you come to church and we are speaking in tongues you know some people they think long speaking in tongues is for apostle pastor dan once we just speak to is okay i beg and do you know there are some people right ba? yes yes that's just what i'm here to is just to give us a better perception to speaking in tongues right there are some people that think that if they speak in tongues for much god is going to call them <laughs> yes i'm serious play something soft for me there are some people that say ah, me i know i'm praying tongue. pray too much you may god no call me you don't know if you are called you're already called <laughs> you think it's, it's true now am i lying but if you are called right, you've been the, the Bible God told Jeremiah that when I was before you were formed, eh? If you were not called that time, there is no way you will be called now speaking in tongues. See, the same energy of the spirit it takes for a pastor be, to be successful in ministry is the same energy it takes for you to be successful in the business world. The same energy. So see Jesus now. Jesus stood and started praying from six o'clock in the evening as i praying and the disciples said that we want to go 
Then he says, okay, go. I'll join you. Then the Bible says they traveled all night. Just like your friends have already made significant progress. The guy was still in the place praying. It doesn't look like he was making progress. But the Bible says when he started to move, he walked to where they were and even overtook them that they were now scared and crying out to the master. Do you understand? That means it doesn't matter what they are achieving if you are in the place of prayer. Time in place of prayer is not time wasted. It's time invested. That was the reason why Elijah could stay praying. And he told the king that, Hey, I hear the sound of abundance of rain. Baba, run. Enter your chariot. Clear. And you know the chariot of those days. is the king go. Presidential chariot. Homer jeep. The finest and the best. And started moving. But when the hand of God came upon Elijah in the place of prayer, he overtook the king's chariot and got there and was waiting for the king. Could that be the reason why the disciple looked at everything Jesus was doing? Everything he was doing. And they didn't tell him to teach us how to multiply bread. At least when Jesus died, they have something lucrative good business or they can have one show and say come and watch a man walk on water so jesus show us the mysteries behind walking on water or show us how to just speak a word and a blind eye will open do you know that those guys were wise they calculated that jesus spent more time doing this one and lesser time doing this one jesus spent few minutes talking to demons but every time we see him and sometimes they say, where are you? Why have you been here since all men seek you? That means, even the, the, the Bible says, even the disciples were looking for Jesus. And then they knew that this one was the generating room. See, Ba, if you can develop a culture of a healthy prayer life, you will be full of both the power and the wisdom. That means, where energy needed to be pumped out, Eh? where something need to knock your boss to sign it and when you have gone they say where is John say, ah, you sign him to go abroad for the course me when bring him back they just left ah it will be <laughs> Otilo is gone <laughs> eh? and where you needed to know what to do you will always know the Bible says that Jesus always knew what was in their hearts and he always knew what to do that is the wisdom of God. How will you know that carrying bread and fish and breaking it was what to do to feed 5,000 people? The wisdom of God. How did I know it was time for me to, 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 to you know, in Zaria, right, there was a day we just woke, woke up. We, we had a fellowship. The fellowship was big and we were having a lot of threats from FCS. And that day, I think he's my witness. He's not here. Me too. We plenty now, no now. That's why if I just say you want to do uh, FCS, they are coming for you. Okay, I'm on camera. Amen. <laughs> Amen. You know, I just okay. <laughs> I just woke up one day. I just said, no, we are not holding fellowship here again. Let's go use another place. Do you know when we got there? We got news that the day we left that place and started doing fellowship in another place, the FCSO they rented these Yarrow boys, these boys with sticks and came to that place and they didn't see us the wisdom of god jesus was never caught on aware the wisdom of god now let me look for somewhere to close right how many of you remember joshua he was fighting right and he wanted to win the battle huh and what happened next yeah? And then they were already fighting and they were winning, but it was getting late. So he wanted the day to remain. And what did he do? Yeah? He commanded the son. He said, Son, don't talk to me like you are confident of what you are. Ah, you know the Sunday school. He said, What? Son. Did the son stood still? Powerful prayer, right? Yeah? But that was a rubbish prayer. That was an incorrect prayer. 
How did I know? How many of us did geography? Uh-huh. So answer me with your sincere mind. Is it the sun that should stand still for the day to remain or the earth? Eh? No, now he says son. You they speak English. Now waiting Bible talk. The guy stand for present of people. He says, Son, stand still and win. Time post. And people clap. Wow, powerful man of God. <laughs> eh? Merlin. No, but my question is: was it the son that was supposed to stand still? Or the earth. Did the intentions of the heart was it fulfilled? Yes. That is what this is talking about. So, in Romans chapter eight verse twenty six, it says, "Likewise, the Spirit helps our infirm- infirmity, for we know it not what we should pray for as we ought to." That means. Sometimes you can be looking at this guy, right? And this guy is misbehaving. And you think the reason why he's misbehaving is his wife. Because obviously from every optical explanation, his wife is messing up. Forgive me. Are you married? Your wife will never mess up in Jesus' name. That's why I was giving an example with somebody who was like this. I said, guy, an example. <laughs> Glory to God. You know, something might be going on your child is misbehaving and you say no it's just his age not knowing that demons are already sitting on his head you might not know exactly what to pray for just like joshua did not know exactly what to pray for but as you karaba shatele brokalaba setele brantekele bosata you walk into the wisdom of god some of us write we've already written you know why i'm not scared of my future i created it oh god i mapped it i remember those days i will wake up i say even if i get married to the devil she will be the best wife we we took them one after the other i said i'm having the best of pastors in the name of jesus i'm having favor with god and with men i remember when i told somebody that i was coming to abuja right that was like four or five years ago i said one day i'm going to come to abuja to do ministry the guys they 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 started laughing at me in the room fellow ministers they say so so pastor is in abuja so, so, pastor is in Abuja. So, so, pastor is in Abuja. Effie, <laughs> they threaten me. <laughs> <laughs> so, you won't go Abuja. Sir, so, I stay around Nyanya, right? I have more followers in town than in Nyanya. I'm forced to move from that place and come into Abuja. We created it because you are full of the wisdom and the power are you with me you have the wisdom and the power you have the wisdom and the power you have the wisdom and the power i thought somebody was going to take it you have the wisdom and the power you have the wisdom and the power is what the bible say say mary said that how will these things be how will this company be and then he says the power of god will come upon you you have that power you have the wisdom you have the power you have the wisdom you have the power you have the wisdom you have the power you have the wisdom (laughs) you have the power bring it down (laughs) let me show you something you see that man in the gate of the beautiful gate right huh let me show you something please focus she the guy was lame right and then paul came sorry peter and john came and then they told him what that says silver and gold we don't have because of their revelation now we have it amen but what i have i give unto you and then they healed the man right but the bible says that that man had been there from when 
from his birth. That means Jesus saw him there. You know, the amazing part to me was not that Jesus did not heal him. The amazing part to me was that the disciples saw Jesus passing that guy every day, but they still believed that they had what it takes to heal the man. Even when Jesus did not heal that man. I don't know if you see it the way I see it. Let me announce to you, that big step you are about to take that is shaking your heart is the game changer. And you have the wisdom and the power. So, if you are going back tomorrow to write business proposals, remind yourself. Remind yourself. Remind yourself. You can sell pure water and be announced to the world though. All it takes is for a spirit to fraternize with what you do. You have the wisdom. Yeah, can you lay your hands on your head and begin to make those prophecies? Remember, you speak it. I am full of wisdom. I am full of power. I am full of wisdom. I am full of power. I am full of wisdom. I am full of power. I can never be stranded. I have all it takes. I have all it takes. I have the wisdom. I have the power. Lastly, let me close with this, right? I'm going to use this opportunity to pray for somebody under the sound of my voice. That in the name of Jesus, not everybody, just people that believe, right? (sighs) You know, the Bible says that, right? That when the Spirit of God comes upon Samuel, from that day, he should do as occasion serves him. That means that opportunity will always present themselves, right? To the equivalent potential that you have. Hallelujah. That means if God gives you the healing anointing, you will always meet sick people. Glory to God. I pray that in the name of Jesus, that game-changing opportunity will come for you. And at that instance, the wisdom and the power of God will be made manifested. Just like Joseph what did Joseph do to become a prime minister? What is nothing? The whole kingdom, nothing interpret the dream. Something he was doing for free. But an opportunity came for the manifestation of the wisdom and the power. See it littered around scripture. What did David do to become the king's in-law? An opportunity for him to manifest the wisdom and the power. And the power. You always know what to do. You always know when to do what you need to do. And listen to me. You have all it takes. You have all it takes. You are full of the wisdom. You are full of the power. Even if it is one person that uses this thing. Even if it is one person. One person. That goes out with this anointing. That goes out with this awareness. This consciousness. That you are full of the wisdom. You know the, 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 the result and effect is that you begin to walk in the things. That have been ordained for you. Just pray in the Holy Ghost some more. Remembering as you speak in other tongues. You speak the mysteries. Rakabatelaba <laughs> shatana mama. Remember he that speaketh in an unknown tongue. Speaketh mysteries. Bring kaka tele broto lo baka shata. Marale le bozo to lo boko la bayana mashakara bale boro lo bo. Liba ya kebere le le bo satana mama malaba. Don't just speak. Make sure you prophesy. You are full of wisdom. Mane moko satai. I am full of power. I have ability. Man keke tele bo ralaba shakwa le bro lo boko sa. 
Mara mane morolelo bo shatala babaya.